Hi folks, just doing a quick video check in here for our second week of class. We'll have to excuse the loud white noise. Our air conditioning chose this weekend to break, so that is a box fan and my toddler is sleeping here too, so I'm kind of stuck in this spot. Um, the one cool spot in our house. So I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing cooler than this at the very least. Uh, I'm now looking at our home page just to let you know you're probably getting into the rhythm of things. Uh, if you did see my announcement, hopefully we do have a few new people. And um, I'm teaching two sections, so if you're in section four, you're likely one of the new folks. Section two, y'all are pretty full, so I don't think you've got any covers. Um, but if you happen to be new, remember that you can, in fact, finish assignments that were due last week by today, the 8th, which is when you should be watching this video. Otherwise, we're wrapping up the readings and discussion posts for Unit 1, and hopefully they've spurred some ideas in your mind as to where you might go with the original narratives of Grade 1. There is a video describing the assignment sheet. It is from the spring semester, but it's the identical assignment sheet that you used. Hopefully you can check that out and go in a bit more in depth as to first what the genre of the personal narrative is, but then thinking a bit about what our specific assignment, the single story, either when you embodied it or you when you witnessed it in others, so giving that a little more consideration. All right, just want to show you one other thing. I'm toggling over here. Unfortunately, my picture is covering the new course calendar link that you would have, but I've already opened this up for us. Um, again, I can't emphasize enough how this view, I think, really helps put things in perspective, particularly if you're taking more than one course. Uh, but of course, ours here just has the one. So because we are doing this at an accelerated pace, in half the time, um, you'll notice that this upcoming week, so today, Monday, hopefully, you're wrapping up these three assignments. <clears throat> the personal narrative essay quiz is the one to make sure you familiarize yourself with the handout. I just found this a great way to make sure people are on the ball and thinking about this before drafts or the final, for sure, if we're due. And these are our last posts that wrap that in. Then we have one more, the discussion five, which is Wolf and Walker, women's voices, and talking about the importance of one's space and conditions to have an adequate time and, frankly, privilege to express yourself creatively, and how that has such a historical, interesting legacy with a gendered bent and a raced one. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and have the MLA quiz. That is not timed, as all my quizzes are untimed, and you're able to look at your resources while taking it. It isn't a matter of memorizing it. I don't think that's a useful skill to ask for you to have. What it is helpful for is that you understand how to go to a standard citation style and apply it. Because very likely you won't only use MLA in your future, that just happens to be the one we use in English and usually in language courses, but you may use APA or Chicago. All of these you can become fluent in just by having that understanding of what do I plug in here. So that's what we're really practicing. So by all means use all the resources you can, look them up. You'll be doing that when you cite things. I continue to inciting things because MLA changes. All these citation styles are far from set in stone. Um, then over the next few days after that, you really want to start doing your drafting for the personal narrative. Remember Lamont's idea. Try to give yourself a chance to use some of the brainstorming techniques that are discussed in the module. And you will have that option on the 16th. That's over a week away, but I want to draw your attention to that. to submit a rough draft. It's completely judgment-free, as in no grade. I give you feedback on what I have. It's okay if you're not done. I just like to see where you're going. A lot of people like taking up on this, and I enjoy it because I get to be basically a writing mentor to you versus a teacher who grades the judgment factor. Um, we have to do it, but my preference is actually with capacity, so like I am the writing center mentor. Speaking of the writing center, though, we have an excellent one, the ACE Center, which of course you would have read about in the module, and it's linked there. But you can also search on SEC page ACE, like ACE, um, and you can set up an appointment and have them help you remotely with your first. They are excellent folks over there. I know they're eager to help. And in the summertime, they're actually at least usually a little bit lighter load, so I think it wouldn't be too hard to get someone. But also keep them in mind if you're taking another class, like a math or a science class, whatever. They have folks there who can help you study. It's a free resource for you as an SEC student. So give that a look, too. The more eyes and thoughts you have in on your paper often, as you would guess, makes it stronger. And then after that, you'll have a few days to work on the final, but we'll already launch into the ideas behind Unit 2, just so people who are at different stages of writing cannot feel, you know, like they're waiting for us to move forward. 
alternately, those of you who might need a little space and time for your ideas to gestate, I do firmly believe in the days of creative and academic writing alike, you may need some time and space from that paper. So that's a good way to use your time constructively and get ahead of the course, and then you can come back to the essay and do a little polishing or whatnot before you post it there on the 22nd. So other than that, things seem to be going smoothly. Just make sure you're checking my comments. I do try to leave specific and detailed comments, even for the smallest of discussion posts. I've really been impressed with the ideas and the conversations y'all are creating. That's what makes this course, that's what makes this course go round. Um, I can set up stuff all day till I'm blue in the face, but if folks aren't putting themselves into it, well, it doesn't take off. But y'all have been, and it's been a pleasure to read. Um, other than that, I hope you're well. As I said, I hope you're staying cool, and I'll look for you on the discussion boards. Take care, y'all.